Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, we're gonna be testing this brand new solar panel from Renogy. This is their 400 watt folding suitcase solar panel. Now, the first thing you'll notice is this solar panel does come with a protective case. There's a pocket on the front that holds your cables and your adapters. And it's nice because a lot of these don't come with protective cases. Another cool thing about this solar panel is it has this lightweight aluminum frame, but it does not have any glass. This is an ETFE solar panel with a fiberglass backer board and it's somewhat of a hybrid, so it's rigid, but also lightweight. Now, if anybody's curious about the ETFE coating on Renogy solar panels and its durability, well, I've been doing a test. These are their 200 watt flex panels with an ETFE coating. I've had these outside for almost a year every single day, and they still put out full rated power and they look brand new. An important factor about owning one of these portable panels is how long does it take to set up? So we're gonna go ahead and time it to see how long it takes to get set up. I have a stopwatch here on my phone. We'll go ahead and start it. Three, two, one. Looks like we're done. One minute, 21 seconds. Now this is the first time I've ever set up this solar panel. So a minute and a half isn't too bad. Now it'd definitely get faster as I'm more familiar with the solar panel or if I had two people to help set it up. But now that we have it deployed, let's go over some of the features. Now I mentioned earlier that this has an ETFE coating. This solar panel is waterproof with an IP67 rating and it has nine bus bars. You'll notice on the back of each of these panels, you have an adjustable metal kickstand so you can get peak power during different times of the year. This solar panel does come with waterproof MC4 connections so it should be compatible with any solar setup. Another feature that I like is that this panel has these plastic bumpers on the corner. If you're familiar with any glass rigid panel, you know how sharp those corners can be. Now, I really like this hybrid design from Renogy. It has the metal frame, but the fiberglass backer board, meaning it's fairly lightweight. The solar panel only comes in at 30 pounds, and if you compare that to a traditional 400 watt glass rigid panel, those come in at 50 or 60 pounds, so you get to save about half the weight. Now, one thing that you have to question with a portable panel like this is, well, how's the durability? How many times can you fold it before you actually get damage? Well, Renogy has a full five-year warranty on this when most other companies offer a one or two-year warranty, and they've also done extensive testing on this. They folded this over 3,000 times, and they have not seen any damage, meaning you could use this every single day for eight years. That's a long time. Well, now that I've covered all the features of this solar panel, I actually wanna do some performance testing. So first we're gonna test it for peak power output, and then we'll test it in partial shading to see how it performs if we have shading on the panel. Let's get started. Now, in order to get peak power, I like to use the can trick. So if you set a can on here, you wanna get the shadow to completely disappear. So if you check that out, that shadow is super small, which means this is facing directly at the sun. Now, as for the solar conditions today, it's a spring day. It's around 60 degrees. We do have some clouds, so I'll make sure that it's clear when I test for peak power. I first wanna measure the voltage open circuit. We're getting 44.5 volts. I have the solar panel connected up to my Blue Eddy AC200L. We're seeing 352 watts charging input. Measuring the inline voltage under peak power, we're getting 35.4 volts. Measuring the amperage on the positive line using my clamp meter, we are getting 9.8 amps. Now checking back at the power station, we're getting 354 watts. It appears that we have some very high clouds, so we're seeing a little bit of fluctuation in the wattage. So we measured 354 watts peak power output for today's conditions, and with some high clouds, it's not completely ideal, but that's actually pretty good. We got 88% of the rated power from this panel. But what about partial shading? On Renogy's website, they actually mentioned that each one of these is wired together in parallel, and I wanna test that. So I have a chair here that is shading one of the panels. So let's see if we lose all the power or just a little bit. So with the partial shading, we are getting 285 watts, 284 watts coming from the solar panel. So still really good results, even with shading on one of the panels. Now here's a look at the back of the solar panel. You have your final junction box here with the MC4 pigtails. Each one of these panels has its own separate kickstand, like I mentioned earlier. The two middle panels have a nice metal handle to carry it with. And then in between each of the panels, you have your wires, which are much more durable than the standard ribbon cable that you get with other portable panels. Now, what about price on this 400 watt suitcase solar panel? Where well, Renogy has an MSRP of $999 on this, but it's currently on a really good sale for $659. 
I also have a 5% off discount code that I'll include down in the video description that drops the price down to $626. Now I've tested a lot of 400 watt solar panels on the channel. I'll include the link to that video down in the video description if you guys want to check that out. But this one is pretty interesting. It's a little bit different than those. With the metal frame and the fiberglass backer board, um, it's a little bit more rigid and durable than those other options, but it still comes in at a really good price. But I do want to compare it against two other panels that I tested in that video. Comparing this to the Blue Eddy PV420 and the EcoFlow 400. So the PV420 is a similar ETFE coated solar panel with metal kickstands, but it does not have this metal rigid framing. And that panel is currently priced at $850. It put out similar wattages. Comparing this to the EcoFlow 400, that also has an ETFE coating. The kickstands are built into the case, so it's a little bit awkward to use, and it kind of sits at a V whenever you have that set up. So it's hard to get peak power from that unless you have it leaning against a structure or a fence or a wall. But that panel is currently priced at $799 and puts out similar power to this one. So when comparing it against those two top performers of that comparison, this one comes in at a better price and seems to be more rigid and durable. Now I was just experimenting with setting this panel up and I found out that if you put it in a straight line like this and then you hold onto these two handles and then just let it down slowly, it seems to stay uh, much more rigid and it sets up way easier. So just a little bit of a tip there. You guys will have to let me know what you think about the 400 watt folding solar suitcase from Renogy. First impressions are really good. In fact, I like it so much, I wanna buy another one. They sent this one out for a review, but I want to have two of these because I think these are super awesome. The fact that they fold up really small, they're still fairly lightweight, but they're really durable and rigid. I think these are gonna hold up to wind really good compared to some of the other portable panels that I use. Well, guys, if you like the video, please smash the thumbs up button, share it with your friends and family, and I'll have all the links to this product down in the video description if you're interested in learning more, including that 5% off discount code. Remember, I've recently started a consulting service. It's called Ask Me. I'll have the link to that down in the video description as well. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you guys in the next one.